What's up guys, MacHD here and welcome to a trading tutorial. I've been requested to do one and uh, I'm, I'm fairly okay at trading, you know, I won't lie. Uh, I, you know, I've had good successes in past FIFAs and they've proved popular. So I might consider doing a trading series. Let me know if you want me to do that because I will, you know, set up start from scratch and show you guys how to make a bit of coinage. So what we're going to be covering today is mass bids. So to basically outline it is you find a player, you find their cheapest price. You then set up uh, what you want to make your profit on. Uh, I usually go for around 200 to 100 coins. You can obviously go larger, but when you're putting down so many bids, it's easier if you put it maybe, I always go 200 coins less, so you'll have that little bit of profit to be made there. And uh, yeah, because if you go too low, you'll probably get outbid. But uh, then again, it, it you know, sometimes you might get lucky. So we'll just show you a quick uh, example here. Ogbana, as you can see, I've been I put bids on him and I put a winning bid of one fourteen hundred on him. But as you can see, I got outbid on fifteen hundred. I uh, picked him up for fifteen hundred there as well, and fifteen hundred. And there's a few here, as you can see. I might win that fella. You see what's happening with Ogbana? I can explain to you guys. Is I'll give you a quick show here. Uh, if we go Ogbana, you'll see here that his maximum price I think was one thousand six hundred. Uh, is what I was going to be listing them up for and you see there was none on the map because 1700 is the cheapest but there was a load of them up at that and they do sell at that price so I am going to list them up at that because you can see there is a few obviously I get instant sells immediately if I was to go uh, you know with the 1600 but I'm going to try and maximize profit and always remember it's okay to get outbid even if you win two cards you'll be making profit on those two so um We'll just list these guys up really, really quick. We'll get rid of those and we'll just show you what you want to do. So be very careful when you get your player. Do not list them up mistakenly at the lowest because that will really get you messed. Uh, it'll just piss you, piss you guys off so much. But uh, yeah, just list it up like that and off you go. And uh, I'll show you a few other players that you can do this with use it with any item it's all about just getting those mass bids down and uh, going for the best I list him up too expensive see wasn't paying attention and uh, I'll probably have to uh, relist him again so uh, that's Agbana I find him pretty good to work with another good player that you can use is if you want to uh, look you can use any website I use footed if you go into footed and if you just go into uh, players you can just it's under a tab FIFA 16 players then all you want to do is go level non-rare and non-rare gold and that'll give you the highest rated players who are non-rare and the first one is Nolito actually from uh, uh, Liga BBVA so what you do is you go up here and I know because I've used him a good bit 750 is his cheapest you can see there's uh, some with seven contracts on that so what you're going to want to do is 750 there's a tax calculator it's a uh, pretty simple all you do is you just type in 750 that tells me i'll get 713 coins so i'm going to want to be trying to pick them up for 600 coins so i'd make 113 coins so all you want to do is you're going to want to go in here max price go 550 that's easiest and uh all you're going to want to do is the seven contracts always go for seven contracts guys because if you they will sell the fastest the other ones not as likely to sell so just throw down the bids of 600 here and uh, nine contracts again even better because those will sell faster so just be throwing down those bids you can always try a few cheeky little you know 550 ones i've had a few come in uh very luckily so he's very good to use nolito another good player is bojan from the bpl uh he's uh 81 rate i think it is and he uh, yeah so you just get his price here very quickly it's really simple you can use footbin to get the prices 600 uh i nearly panicked by there and uh yeah i could have i could have picked him up and made a small amount of profit so as you can see uh he's still there ah, i'll leave him off as you can see 700 coins is the cheapest so again you type in 700 and it'll tell you that you'll get 665 so you're going to want to be trying to pick him up for 500 coins you go 450 and then you just throw on bids i would always go up to about an hour i got caught there uh one day and i i won the player eventually uh but it did take me sadly uh one day and 15 hours to get him still made a profit on him and as you can see six hours there i made a mistake and two hours 18 minutes you just have to watch what you're doing and i obviously wasn't there Bojan is very good to use. Another good player is Danny from the Russian League. Uh, you can pick him up really cheap. I picked him up 350 a few times. His price has been going up and down. He's 500 there. That's a good steal if anybody wants to buy that because he's very, very well round. 
so 550 is the price you'd want to be picking them up for so again it's very simple you just go 550 and it tells me that they'll give me 523 so you're going to want to be picking up for 400 450 if you can you can pick them up for 350 as well uh so just throw down the bids of 400 up to about the hour mark what i do as well is i go off and i throw down a whole load of bids and i wait uh instead of waiting i go off and might play a little bit of career mode i play one match might play online so you know you can be getting a few more coins it's all about making coins uh and as you can see you can just i'm going to throw a bit of 350 on him there but as you can see it does work and those are pretty easy players to use with another good player that i've been kind of experimenting with is ando herrera he's a little bit more expensive uh I think he was up around the 1,900 mark the last time I checked. Yeah, 1,900. Uh, that is his cheapest on the mark, I'm pretty sure. So 1,900 coins. Oh, it's down here for 1,800. There isn't. So for 1,900, we will get uh, eight, 805 coins. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is just show down 1,600. So you'll pick him up for 1,700. So you'll make... You know, you can always... Uh, I've actually done that wrong. <laughs> Uh, you just want to be making the maximizing the profit here and look that's a pretty decent one if I could pick him up he would sell on uh, pretty well he's also converted to cam so that would uh, further increase his value as well because he's been changed up a position that can always work out well for you guys so keep an eye out for that don't be afraid to pick them up if they're converted you can always make more coins after them so as we go into our transfer list here we'll see that uh shanaglu i've been picking this guy up uh, i have a few of them i picked him up on a snipe which is another method i can do if you want to see how to snipe players i will do that i'll show you the best technique for sniping picked him up for three thousand coins sold him on for three thousand nine hundred so that's a beautiful bit of profit there Agban, i just waiting for him to sell on uh, i I, mis I mislisted him because i was too busy explaining to you guys go into our watch list let's see what the story is here we lost that Ag Bonner, that's fair enough. Uh, sometimes people go mad with the bids. Uh, you're not going to complain. And Nolito is going to come in, hopefully, could change very quickly. So that is the best, uh, the, those, that is the mass bidding technique. You can use it on anything. For example, uh, kits, I know, uh, I'll actually do kits in a different episode if you want to guys see, if you guys want to see what kits sell for the best, what kits are the best to kind of pick up and sell on cheap, I will do that for you guys. So again, just, Use a site such as Foothead or just the players I listed out there, Nolito, Danny, Ander Herrera, Agbana. You can use it on any player really. Um, they won't all come in, remember that, but the players that do come in, make sure you list them up for the right price. Make sure you're making a profit. Don't buy them uh, if you're only going to make 10 coins on them. It is 10 coins, but you know you want to be getting at least 100. And uh, yeah, you can get lucky like me with Chanaglu and be picking them up, making 900 coins. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do drop a like. Subscribe if you want to see some more trading tips. Do you want a trading series? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>